do is create another document. I'm going to show you other capabilities. <laughs> and first, I'm just going to show you, and then you can do it. So you can just watch me first. Uh, but you can go ahead already and create your first, next document. Same size, default. Where are my layers? And I'm going to save it right away. And what I'm going to do is, you know, select the previous one and just add B. Sort of add <coughs> this, have B. This is the part B of this assignment. Okay? Same, same thing. Yeah, it's going to be B. Now, I don't, you don't need to set it up. Now, I want you to see what makes Illustrator unique is that if you're working with type and you want to manipulate individual letters, you can. But this is important. Actually, everything is important, but it's especially important. When you use a type tool and you type anything, this is just, um, again, you won't be doing this exactly, so just watch. So if you type anything, food, I just had lunch, so I type that. Let me change my type. You can see. Bless, Bless you. Thank you. So you notice now I cannot really edit individual letters. This is just type. Type is type can be changed. Well, you can actually make this type into a graphic that can be edited. Just keep in mind if you forget what fonts you used, you probably want to somehow put a note because it becomes a graphic, it's not, doesn't behave as type anymore, okay? So once the type becomes a graphic, it doesn't behave as type anymore. And actually, let me actually make it a little bit different type, more, more um, interesting one, maybe this one, okay? So you can see that. So now, how you do this, there's an option, and that is an option how to make this type into a graphic that can be edited. On your object, on an object, I'm sorry, type, and it's called create outlines. Command shift O, I think. Right? So command shift O, that's not a zero, it's O. Create outlines. Now this is not a type anymore, it's a graphic. And it's a grouped graphic. You can ungroup it by right clicking and doing ungroup or just going inside the mode. And now, notice all the points that it has. It becomes editable text, editable graphic. So if I want to move it into a letter, I can. If I want to click on a point and change it, I can as well. I can add points to it. Let's say I want to put a point here and then change that. I can make it even a curve point because all of those are straight points. So I can click and hold my conversion and then go back and then change it, okay? So I can edit my text, it becomes editable graphic. Right. So that's really convenient when it comes to logo designs, right? Because you can actually make it into an art. So I want you, to, what I want you to do as well is type one word, make it big and bold, can be the whole page, I don't care. If it's 72, may not cut it. This, you know, make sure you can probably type in the size here. So make it big, bold, and beautiful. <laughs> right. Then why don't you manipulate the points of that? Just, just play with them. Make it a quick word because I want you to manipulate every letter. I want you to move it. I want you to add points to it, um, and just play with the look of those uh, graphics. And then make sure you color it. So let's see, I'm gonna color my la uh, your letters as well. So I'm going to color blue and maybe if I want a next one to just have a stroke, I can have that as well. Cool? So you can go ahead and play with your type. Have fun. And after you're done, just save it and you'll be done with this part. So let me uh, save it and that's it.